All right, so spent the morning getting the stone up to this point. Now I've got one full course and then I'm gonna start entering into where the shoulders are and that has an angle. So I'm gonna have to do some angle cuts and I want to make sure that, um, you know, there's gonna be a piece of stone, which actually I have a sample right here. So this is a sample of what's gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna use it to make sure that everything is where it should be, both on the underside as well as going up this wall so I don't go down too low. Um, and you know, if water goes on this, we're not gonna stop water from getting behind the stone. What we wanna do is have room behind it so that it can run down uh, if it does get back there, when it does get back there. So um, the detail here, I'll have some flashing on the metal over by the wall, but for the most part, this here, we're hoping that water runs and goes off over the stone that way. And any minor amount of water that might come in here is gonna hit either the adhesive that's gonna keep this stone in place and run down on the felt paper, so. And another thing I wanted to mention, Isotunes, man. So Isotunes does support my channel and they support me also by giving a code so that you guys, if you wanna try them, can save $10 on a pair. I'll put a link down below. I've been using Isotunes. It's not like it's something new. It's not just a one quick video sponsorship or ad. Uh, these guys have been with me for a long time. I've been using them. Me and Greg have both been using them. Uh, Greg actually doesn't like to wear these in the summertime because of the heat. He likes to just throw those really lightweight foam plugs. Honestly, I don't, I don't really have a problem. I don't notice the heat. It doesn't bother me. However, if these are something that you're into, they got a bunch of different types of hearing protection. These are my favorite because there's no cords. As you can see, they're just stored in this nice little pill case and this recharges. So it's got a USB-C adapter plug on the back and they charge your hearing protection. You can take your phone calls, listen to music, whatever. But most importantly, when I'm using this concrete saw to cut these pieces of Versetta stone, it makes it bearable. And I just realized I forgot my eye protection. All right, now I got my eye protection. I suppose that is quite important. So as important, if not maybe more important than hearing, I don't know if I'd rather not hear or not see. I feel like if I didn't hear, I could still live somewhat a normal life, but if I didn't see, that would really suck. So, eye protection. Okay, so I like that. This is gonna allow me to put that capstone right on top of that. I mean, look at that. That's just beautiful. And um, don't go nowhere. So that'll be able to get capped just like that. I feel pretty good about that. I think that's gonna work out I think that's going to work out quite well. So, how do we fasten this? I'm going to take some stainless steel mesh. We're going to screw that on and then we're going to take some landscape construction block adhesive.
and that's what we're gonna set this guy into. It's super coarse, it's gonna really lock on really well. Now we can go ahead, get this guy here, which I'm definitely gonna wanna use a full piece. I think what I'm going to do is hold off. I'm going to go ahead and get this area prepped for the shoulder stone which is supposed to be in in a couple days, get that installed before I go any further because I don't want to cut these wrong, have gaps that I'm not happy with, or be too tight and have to mess with it. I want to go ahead and get these pieces installed, then I'll come back and finish the rest of this stone. What I can do though, and I need to get doing, is get up on the roof chimney section and get that done. So that way on Friday, which is in a couple days, same day as the shoulder stone, the guys that are doing the chimney work can get the cap that was custom made for this chimney installed over my stone and finished. Then we'll be done up there on the roof for good. So yeah, we'll catch you guys. Maybe, you know what, let's just go ahead and we'll roll this into another video. We'll keep this thing going. So if you haven't already though, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button um, or drop me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this chimney stone. I'll go ahead and get this area cleaned up and show you what it looks like maybe with, uh, with the big picture. All right, it's time to go ahead and put the stone around this chimney. You'll see I've just got some felt paper just flashed loosely because I can't fasten it through the flashing that is um, counter flashed up the side of the roof. It's going to be a little bit tricky because I got to get that first row um, perfect around. There's going to be angle cuts. And um, obviously when you go around a square and I can't set a rotary laser up here to make sure my elevations are perfect, uh, this lift moves too much. Um, and maybe our building moves too much too. No, that's a joke, but I'll just go ahead and use the old analog way with the trusty four foot level. I'll get a level line all the way around as a reference and then I'll start going up. Now up here, you'll notice this piece of plywood is just sitting here. It's on a slight angle and it's vented here, uh, which is probably the most, um, it's opposite the most predominant weather pattern. So most of the weather comes from that way. So we left it open on this side and water can run off, but then this can still vent because it is cut open, ready for the chimney pipe to come up. We've gotta run a, a band board around this top to build it out about two inches. And that is so the chimney guys can come back with a cap and set it over this whole thing. And it's gonna cover the stone, flash everything properly. That way water runs out and over off the top of the chimney. So first I'm just gonna arbitrarily make a, a line here and there's really no rhyme or reason it doesn't matter i just want it high enough that i can use it for the first few courses um, to make sure that i am running level use this line and really it doesn't matter a whole lot for this because i'm just making a reference it doesn't have to be consistent around but knowing that it's consistent i can always use the same dimension for measuring, so it does make it a little bit easier. Now the question is, when I come around this side, is it gonna be the same as over there? I hope so. All, the, all it takes is being off just a little bit on one of these corners and it throws it off. I can live with that. That is not bad at all. Okay, so now that I have the reference line, I can go ahead and start prepping 
cut my stone. This thing rocks. The first ones are gonna be the hardest, no doubt. Especially because I really have no, nothing to reference per se. Now that I have these ones set and everything is right where I like it, I now have my measurement that I'm gonna use, which is 25 and a half, around this whole thing to get the first row set, make sure that it's running level around the whole side. Every time I get up and off of this roof, I'm gonna make sure I do my best to blow as much of the stuff out of here as possible. Once the first row is over, it's going to be a lot easier. So I just got all this uh, two by four installed as well as the plywood behind it. Basically I'm trying to build it out two inches. Um, that way the cap is gonna come over and that's gonna be five inches. So that will cover the stone. The stone will be tucked up underneath of it. That'll also help me with this last course not going anywhere. I mean, I'll put some adhesive on it. I'm not really worried about it. I just thought to myself, it'd be a lot easier to get these last pieces in here if the uh, two by four wasn't there. So yeah, I just spent the last five minutes screwing this on and now I'm gonna screw it off. that happened before.
See, now these guys can't come out. I do have that block adhesive behind there, really more or less holding this row to this row. By the time this gets put over top, it'll even be more secured. Um, it's sitting in that tongue. I mean, you can see it's it's pretty secure. So especially once that stuff hardens up. So now I'll finish the backside and then this will be ready for a chimney cap. All right, guys, so we're up here on the chimney and we're gonna get back to putting this stone up. I'm coming to you from my GoPro Hero 9, which now has a front facing camera so I can at least see uh, what you guys are seeing, even though it's really tiny. Um, First thing I gotta do is put these stone caps on. I apologize if the audio is bad. It just is, there's not a ton of room up here in the smaller scissor lift. I got tons of stone. I got the saw way over here. And we're gonna go ahead, get this going. So probably just gonna go into time lapse and uh, enjoy. Hopefully this will look on camera a lot faster and easier than it probably is in real life. All right, so we're above those shoulders. Now the hard part, in my opinion, is done. And hopefully we can move to the top pretty darn quick. The nice thing is, even though I'm, I don't have my Mega Deck scissor lift, I've still got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got about 20 bundles of Versetta stone up here. I've got the IQ Power Tool saw up here, all of my stuff, and I can just go up one course at a time with everything right here and not have to work in scaffold on a ladder. Man, scissor lifts are where it's at. If you don't have a scissor lift and you're doing this sort of work, just put it in your budget and make it happen because I promise you, it's worth it. Hey, what do you know? That feels really good to finally get this chimney done. And uh, it was a lot of work. Obviously, hopefully in this time lapse, it didn't get too boring and I was able to just speed it up and it just looked like it was super easy. It took me all day to run from those shoulders up, but uh, I can't wait to step back and take a look at it, see what it looks like. Hopefully you do too, so here we go.